what's up everyone welcome on back to the channel hope that you're doing well hope you're feeling good thank you so much for being here so i came across this album cover which just looked interesting so i said okay let's go ahead and listen to it <laughs> we're listening to mad season with their track river of deceit this is from the album above which was released in 1995 don't know a thing about them don't know anything about this. I just saw the album cover. Looked interesting. So I said, all right, let's go ahead and give it a listen. So that's what we're going to do today. Let's go ahead and press that play button. We'll talk about it after. Let's go.
that was a nice little song. It it sounds to me like I was saying like this indie rock kind of alternative rock kind of sound. And I like how like there's a there's a certain atmosphere in there that it sounds like it could lend itself to a heavy sound, but it never gave way to that. Like even in the chorus, the drums came in with the rumbling of the toms, the bass was very forward in the production. So I like how rhythmically like production wise there was this big strength, like everything was up front. And then the vocals and the guitar were just kind of like softly laid down in the back. So it was really interesting the way that the sound was because even though this is not the genre that I'm about to say, it reminds me of like what some post rock would, would, would do. It reminds me of kind of like that sonic sensibility, but like I said, not quite heading into that direction whatsoever. Um, but I thought that this was a nice little track here. I didn't think that it was anything necessarily like crazy or, or you know, overly amazing, but I did think that it was a, a nice little track there. Um, this is interesting. Um, who, who's singing on this track? Who's singing on this track? You got Lane Staley from Alice in Chains? <laughs> so he's singing here? Okay. He's singing much softer and not in the way that I, I guess in my mind I typically associate with hearing uh, Lane. Um, this is interesting. Okay, so <laughs> what's his history with this band? Is this like his side band or is this after Alice in Chains or before? Uh, it says McCready then brought in friend and Alice in Chains frontman Lane Staley to round out the lineup. Okay, so he was kind of doing this uh, to the side. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Mm. And this seems like the band the band is from uh, Seattle. Mm, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, the album was recorded in, Se in Seattle. It's hard to describe the album. Martin plays some vibes and Lane plays guitar. There's some jazzy stuff, some blues, some arena rock. Uh, so I'm interested. So this sounds like it could be an album with a lot of diversity in its sound um i'm looking to see where this particular track ends up on the album it's the third track now listen i don't know about you track listings sometimes the first track is like that that opener that's the one that like gets you into the album right the second track is like it could either go a little higher than the opener or just a little bit lower but it maintains a certain quality and then typically the third or the fourth track is that soft one right that's when you take a little bit of a break and then you kind of bring the energy back up. This is that third track. So I would imagine that the first two tracks, Wake Up, which even sounds like it could be a more exciting opener, and X-Ray Mind uh, probably lead the charge on that one with this one kind of softening up and bringing balance to the album. My pain is self-chosen at least, so the prophet says. I could either burn or cut off my pride and buy some time. I love that line. A head full of lies is the weight tied to my waist. River of deceit pulls down. The only direction we flow is down. I love that line so much in the in the verse. My pain is self-chosen, or so the prophet says. So we're getting some uh, religious connections here as well. It says, I could either burn, like hell, or cut off my pride and buy some time. It's not even going to help you in the end. It's just buying you some time. That's great. My pain is self-chosen. At least I believe it to be. So now that the line changes, I could either drown or pull off my skin and swim to shore. Now I can grow a beautiful shell for all to see. The pain is self-chosen. Our pain is self-chosen. So uh, don't accept the, the pains that others portray onto you or, or push onto you. The pain is self-chosen. You can either have the pain or not. I, I, I got you. I, I see what you're putting down. I, I like that. I like that. It says the lyrics written by Staley were partially based on The Prophet, a prose poetry book written by Lebanese-American author Khalil Gibran in 1923. Staley was reading the book during the making of the album. The lyrics also touched on Staley's struggles with the drug addiction that would eventually kill him in 2002. I like those lyrics a lot. Music is nice. Let me, did I say music? Let me know what you guys thought of the track. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. Follow me over on Twitter. Support the channel on Patreon. Thank you so much for being here, and I will talk to you later, guys. Bye.